Welcome back hunters to Matariki Park. We just joined the map. I'm gonna head into this section here and see what we can get. Kinda of reveal the map a little bit. And I wanted to touch on a subject that has been coming up a bit lately. What do we got over here? I'm hearing some noise. Let's check it out. So a topic that has come up is about the tripods. A little bit of a debate, more of a discussion, but there's this overall feeling that tripods has made our lives or the game a whole lot easier. It takes away a little from the stalking of the animals and sort of gives you sort of a, an easy, I wouldn't say a way out, but an easy way to kind of get your eyes on animals. And I believe that's the intent of having them. They're supposed to aid you in your hunts, give you a bit of an advantage, especially over ridges and stuff, so you can hunt in a very different way, take out animals a different way. And what I think is, what's happening is that there's, there's a few players who want a little bit of realism, a little bit of challenge in their hunts, and we're realizing that these tripods are really taken away from our hunts. They're not really adding to it. So when you make an argument to sort of say, hey, let's make them a little bit harder to use. As some other players have stated, well, you kind of make them unusable. Because if the intent is to walk around and be able to put up a tripod and get some eyes on some animals, then why have them spook? You know, animals in doing so. And I have always been saying that players need to feel consequences to their actions. And I get that not, not all players want that, but as a hardcore player for people who like hardcore realism, there has to be consequences to your actions. And you can't just walk up to a herd 50, 90 meters out and just put up a stand and shoot. Like there has to be some kind of a weight to that. But I understand that the majority of our player base are casual players, players who don't really hunt in real life. And even if they do, they just want to be able to jump into a session, hunt a few animals and be on their way. So I get that that's not appealing. So what I've realized is that we're going to have to cater to the casual players. And for those who like tough hunts, realism, we're going to have to sort of create that environment for ourselves by imposing rules, by not using items, which kind of sucks because these tripods are really, really fun to use, you know, and them being that easy, it's a little disappointing, but as some players have said, well, if you don't, if you find them too easy, then don't use them. And I think that goes for a lot of things in the game for certain types of guns, which do make your life easier. Just don't use them. And that's really what it comes down to. Or you can find a way to use them in a way that does not make your hunt so easy. So I just thought that was interesting. You know, I mean, we're getting a lot of features, we're getting a lot of items that we request. And as a result, this will come at a price. It will come at a price of either making the game harder, easier, more accessible. And for some, that may not be ideal. And you can just ignore it. Just don't use it or find a way to use it in a way that does not take away from your hunt. So I think we got some red there over here. Yeah, I see them. I think they're coming to drink. Oh, we got some other animals here. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's another herd of red there. I can't be sure. But I'm just going to stay low here and kind of see what these guys do. I'm carrying my 7mm. And Grandpa's old rifle, so... The 
if we can put Grandpa's rifle to work, we will. Hopefully there's a nice, nice stag here in this group. They're watching me here. Okay, so it seems like they're resting. Got some Samba Dares over there. I'm telling you, man, there's so much goodness on this map. You're tracking one thing, and then you hear something else that you want. But we're going to focus on these red dares for now. And if we get a chance, we can follow up with any other herd that's around us. Trying to see if there's one with a nice rack, you know, the new racks that we got. But so far, nothing good. This seems to be a very young herd. That's at least maybe a two star, maybe. Not worth taking down. So we'll kind of see what emerges from here. So much goodness on this map, man. You're hunting one thing, you're hearing other stuff. It's amazing. Sometimes it's a bit overwhelming, you know? But this map is so refreshing. I love it. Easily one of the best map. Let's see if there's anything coming out here. Ooh, look at that. That's a decent rack. He's looking maybe like maybe a three star. Yeah, I would say at least a three star, but I don't think that, that rack is anything special. Yeah, so as he sits here, let's take a look at it. It's definitely not even. Doesn't look that way. So I think we can take the chance and take him. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be anything special. Doesn't look that way to me. That rack is looking a little suspect. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. a little tricky to tell but I, th I do think the tines on the on the left on the right side here looks different than the other side so we'll risk it and take him I think we got him good. I think he's hobbling over there. Let's give him some time to die. Shouldn't be going too far. I think we got a decent long shot. He was moving, so I'm thinking that probably got maybe a little bit mid to the back of the lungs. Hopefully that didn't scare most of our somber dares around here, but I'm not hearing anything, so that might be the case. 
got pretty quiet here all of a sudden. Except I'm hearing some feral pigs, I think is what I'm hearing. Just need to find some blood, which I don't really know where I shot him. Not like it was any open here. Oh, so he went this way. I could have sworn I saw him back this way. Okay, so that worked out. Yeah, unless he probably came back this way when I saw him. But I'm very glad I looked in this direction because I was able to see the blood. I would have been running around back there, you know, looking when really he came this way. here for a bit. Let's back up a little. So we're going straight. Went back this way. some pigs over here. I wonder if I can get some eyes on them. I don't want to spook them. So if I can see them and take him out from a distance, I will. But nothing yet. some boys just around here. Hopefully we can get some eyes on them. 
There he is. Behind that tree, though. Looks like he's alone. Let's see if he comes through this opening. It's going to be pretty tight, but we'll take him. Just got to be a little patient and see if he comes through here. That would be perfect. I'm not sure what he's... I'm not sure what he's doing here, but... He still seems to be under that tree. Okay, so our, our red there is right here. How ironic is that? It gets pretty challenging to hunt in this brush. It's one thing I love about it. Okay, we're getting some movement here. But is he coming our way? That's the question. but I can't see you. I couldn't locate that boar, so I decided to come back and let's harvest our guy that we shot. the size of this thing. Okay, so from 59 meters out, we got the left lung. Right through that bone. Right through that rib. So we got a 1 star, 45%. That is insane. A 1 star looking like this. I'm telling you, a few judging is going to be really tough. Yep, so our judgment was correct. He would not have been anything special. He's not even 50. Still a nice kill. But these rocks will take some getting used to. Let's check our wind. So we're just going to head this way. There we go. Oh, it's some red deers. We found another herd. There's some big boys in this one. But he still looks young. Maybe three star. That Man, that would have been a perfect shot. But that's a nice rack still, but seems fairly young. If you look at the thickness, it doesn't look that thick. So that's how you can tell. It's not a beast of a rack yet. But that still looks so majestic, just seeing that. Yeah, so there's two of them. This one looks pretty uneven. Yeah, one side looks a lot smaller than the other. Let's take him out. 
So we got Grandpa's rifle. Let's see how well of a job it did. So as we can see here with the with Grandpa's rifle, they take a little bit longer to die. They're going to run a little bit further. That's just on the edge. A little further, and we probably wouldn't be able to claim it. But there's our big boy. 90 meters out, left lung. Right through that rib. Clipping that artery. And we got another one star, 44%. And look at that rack. Completely uneven. That is absolutely incredible. Yeah, definitely worth keeping. So I'm going to add them to my taxi list just so we can, you know, come back and take a look at those racks and compare it to what else we can find. Well, that's it, guys. I think that was a very successful hunt. We took down two red there low fitness so basically that's going to boost our genetic pool i was hoping to get like a feral pig or a samba there i was hoping to get like a, a feral pig or a seeker there but we didn't we didn't get that lucky so i'm just going to leave it there for now thank you for watching and thank you for listening